Yes. 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 Today we are going to discuss full metallurgy procedure and what are the steps involved in metallurgy. Everything we are going to discuss today. Okay. So children, first we should know what is definition of metallurgy. What is metallurgy? Steps involved. Steps involved in extraction of metals. Steps involved in extraction of metals is called as metallurgy steps. What are the steps? Means children will get core much children from the uh, earth. So we do so many procedures, different different steps we follow to extract the metal. All the steps which we use, all the steps which we use in the extraction of metal is called as metallurgy. Okay, then you will get those. Sir, what are the steps we follow? Yes. So what are the steps we follow, the children? Means sir, number one step. Yes, children, very very important. Four steps are there. Number one step is called enrichment of ore. Enrichment. Some people will also call it intermediate it as concentration. Anything is same, children. Enrichment or concentration is same. It's removal of impurities. Number two step: oxidation of ore. Oxidation of ore. Why do we oxidize the ore on the surface? Children? Number three step: extraction of metal. From ore, extraction of metal from ore means that first we will remove the impurities, then whatever may be the ore will oxidize it, will convert it to oxide. From oxide ore, we will remove oxygen and we will get metal. And after you get metal, we will refine the metal. That's all. These are the four steps we will follow. Like this, they won't use your textbook, they will do it differently. It, it's correct only, but if you study like this, you will understand clearly. So, steps involved in the extraction of metals is called metallurgy. What are the steps? Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, refining. What are the steps? Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, refining. What are the steps? Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, refining. Okay, children. I'll discuss each one briefly. So, before discussion, I want to discuss what is a metal. What is a metal? Okay, children. This is an earth. Anything you extract from earth's crust, anything, whatever may be the thing. If you dig and take out any substance extracted from earth's crust is called mineral. What is mineral? Any substance extracted from earth's crust. Any substance extracted from earth's crust is called mineral. It may be useful or may not be useful. But if you are getting from the earth, it is called mineral. Any substance extracted from earth's crust is called mineral. Okay, sure. Now, what is an ore? What is an ore? Different ores are present. Ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably. Ore is a mineral. Ore is a mineral. Ore is a mineral from which ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably. Or is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably. Okay, children. Means uh, all ores are minerals, but all minerals are not ores. From mineral, if you are getting metal only, it is a ore. If not, it is not a ore, it's just a mineral. Okay. From mineral, if you get a metal, then only it is called ore. Okay. And that too it should be profitable, children. Simply if you get a metal, if it is not profitable, it's not called as ore. Okay. So what's a mineral? Any substance you get from the earth is called mineral. And what is a ore? The ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably. What is profitably? Already I told you, no children. You can extract. You can extract gold from water also, children. From water also you can extract gold. But if you extract from water gold, it will be costing you around uh, 10 grams of gold, around two to three lakhs, children. Two to three lakhs. But outside you are getting gold for 10 grams, 50 thousand only you are getting. Okay, who will buy with you for, for two lakhs? No one will buy. If you say I extracted from water, they will say so. No one will buy. So it is not profitable. If it is not profitable, then we can't call it uh, water as a ore of gold. You can't call because you are not getting any profit. Ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably. So, children, here what, what we study in metallurgy? What are the metallurgy steps involved in extracting metals? Oh, metallurgy. What are the four steps? Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, purification. Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, purification. What is a mineral? Any substance you take out from the earth is called mineral. What is a ore? Is a ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted profitably, compulsory it can be profitable. Okay, children. So these are the things, the basic children. Now we're going to enrichment. 
now we'll go into each step children okay i hope everyone copying don't sit idle children very very important at least if you're not copying afterwards see the video okay and copy all the things properly okay so children what what the things i told i told you metallurgy definition then i said what are the steps then i said what is a mineral then i said what is a core these are the properties okay again the steps sir what is the first step enrichment what is the first step enrichment what is enrichment enrichment means removal of impurities children that's all removal of impurities from the ore is called enrichment removal of impurities from the ore is called enrichment just if you remove the impurities then that is called enrichment and what are these impurities are called what are these impurities are called impurities are called as gas impurities are called what children gas okay see children this is a ore in the ore so many impurities will be present no? this impurities if you can remove this impurities if you can remove that is called enrichment the removal of impurities is called enrichment but impurities are called as gang impurities are called as gang okay children are you able to understand one second children Okay, children. So enrichment means removal of impurities is called as enrichment, and the impurities are called as gadget. Okay. So children, actually, this is your topic, children. This is your portion. But apart from the portion, different uh, some extra I want to say, children in enrichment different different methods are there in enrichment different different methods. Suppose you have sulfide ores with you, you have sulfide ores from the earth, then they will go for frost rotation method. These methods are not there for the children to test. Suppose oxide ores are there, then we'll go for hydraulic washing method. Hydraulic washing. Method. Suppose iron ores are there, magnetic separation will form. Magnetic separation. Okay. Suppose aluminium ores are there. What is the famous ore of aluminium? Children, bauxite. What is the form of bauxite? Al two O three dot two H two. Two H two is called as ore of crystallization. Okay, children. And the aluminium ores are extracted by layers. Layers. Hope you understand. These are different different procedures are there. Children. Hydraulic washing, magnetic separation, frost rotation, Bayer's process. Different different ores. They will follow different different methods. What are these methods in detail? I will say later. Just for your understanding, I am saying. Just for example, let's say frost rotation is there. Frost rotation. They will take sulfide ore. They will put pine oil, and they will send. They will send air. Children. They will send air. If they send air, froth will come. Froth. If you mix uh, washing powder and water, how you will get uh, the bubbles? That is froth. Along with the froth, ore will come, leaving behind impurities at the bottom. Impurities are called as gas. Impurities are called as gas. Okay, like this, different different metals are there, children. Like suppose magnetic separation. Iron it will take from the ore, leaving behind impurities because iron is a magnetic substance. So magnetic, if you put uh, iron, it will take leaving behind impurities. And like this, different different metals are there for different different ores. Sulfide ores, froth rotation. Oxide ores, hydraulic washing. Iron ores, magnetic separation. Aluminium ores, Bayer process. Aluminium ores, Bayer process. What is enrichment? Removal of impurities from the ore is called enrichment. Removal of impurities from the ore is called enrichment or concentration. And the impurities are called gas. Okay, children. Like so many things are there. Like example, I want to say one important term. What is a flux? What is a flux? Children, when you are uh, purifying iron, children, when you are purifying iron, you will add some calcium silicate, children. Calcium silicate. Okay, you will add some substance to remove impurities. The substance which you add to remove the impurity is called flux. When you are when you are doing this process, children, when you are doing this process to remove the impurities, we will add some substance. That substance is called flux. What is flux? The substance added to remove the impurity. When you add flux, some impurities will come. No, that impurities are called as slag. That impurities are called as slag. Then you will ask, sir, then what is this impurity, sir? This is also impurities. The impurities normally physical impurities which we remove normally is called gang. But when you add flux, the impurities which are coming out is called a slag. It is called slag. These all terms are not there for the children in tenth class. In the intermediate study, for tenth class, only these two points are important. What is enrichment? Removal of impurities from the ore is called enrichment. 
What is impurities are called gang. One more question. What is gang? G A N G U E. G A N G U E. Gang means impurities present in the world is called gang. You should write it. First step is over. First step is over. Enrichment is over. I hope everyone knows. For sulfidose, we'll solve from potassium. For oxidose, hydraulic washing. Iron ore, magnetic separation. As we reverse various process. Different central doors, different, different process we'll follow, children. Some of the famous examples. Okay, children, till now what we studied, we studied a metal regimen. Steps in water and extraction of metal. Steps in insect. What are the steps we follow, children? What are the steps we follow? Enrichment. Okay, enrichment. And next step, what is oxidation? And next step, what will follow, children? Extraction. And next step, what will follow? Refining. All the steps will follow. Okay, children, I hope you are able to understand, children. Next step, enrichment is over. No oxidation. Any ore, children, let it be any ore. It may be chloride ore, it may be nitrate ore, it may be sulfate ore, it may be carbonate ore, it may be phosphate ore. Any ore you convert all of them into oxide ore. That is our aim here. What is oxidation? We'll convert all the ores, whatever you get from the earth, we convert into oxide ore. Suppose, sir, you if oxide ore you get what you will do, means no need to do this step only. No need of second step only. Then you will get the why, sir, remove your oxidants we should convert. Why means removal of oxygen is easy. Removal of oxygen is easy. You will get the metal in third step. In third step extraction, no? In extraction, we will remove oxygen. We will get metal. Simple. So, what is the aim of oxidation? We will convert the, all the words, whatever the words you are getting from the earth, into oxygen only. Why? Because removal of oxygen is very easy. Enrichment, what we are doing, we are just removing impurities. In oxidation, we are converting the ore into oxide. We are converting the ore into oxide. Impurities removal is just like taking bath, children. If you take bath, only the impurities which are present on your body will go. Not your the impurities which are present in your heart won't go. Okay, I will bring a uh, dangerous culprit who committed so many murders. By giving bath, will he become a good person? No. It is only physical. Enrichment is physical. Impurities inside should go means it comes in refining. Okay, okay, children. So what is oxidation? We converting more into oxide. Why should we convert only into oxide? Because removal of oxygen is easy. So how many methods are there, children, in oxidation also? For 10th class, we have famous procedures, calcination and roasting. Calcination and Okay, children, calcination and roasting. What is calcination and what is roasting? Please see here, children, how to What is calcination and what is roasting? Three marks question, children, three differences you should know. What three marks question? Calcination and roasting. Okay, please see here, children. Okay, children, what is calcination? What is calcination? Means heating ore in limited supply of air or more supply. Limited supply. What is roasting? Heating ore in excess supply of air. Fully heat the roasting means it is like frying. How do you fry me? Right. Calcination means no supply. Roasting is full supply of air. Calcination, first difference is over. Second difference, calcination is done for carbonate ore. Calcination is done for carbonate ore. CO3 minus two. C for C, easy to remember. Calcination is done for carbonate ores. Roasting is done for sulfide ores. Roasting is done for sulfide, not sulfate. Third difference. Suppose zinc carbonate is there. You will get zinc oxide and carbon dioxide if you heat it in absence of a zinc carbonate is called calamine chicken. Zinc carbonate is called calamine. What is zinc carbonate called Zinc carbonate is called calamine. Okay, Zinc carbonate, if you heat in absence of A, you get zinc oxide and carbon dioxide. Carbon dioxide escapes out, leaving behind oxide. Our aim is to convert it to oxide only, you know. In oxidation, what is our aim? To convert the ore into oxide. Roasting, like suppose, any example, zinc sulfide everything. Heat in a excess supply of A. Here, no oxygen because no oxygen. Here, we are putting oxygen. Then, what do you get? Zinc oxide plus sulfur dioxide gas. Sulfur dioxide gas escapes, leaving behind zinc oxide. Our aim is to convert the ore into oxide in the body. So, difference between calcination and roasting. Three marks question is what is the one definition? 
For example, reaction. Like this issue. Okay. So children, till now we studied two steps. Now I'm going to third step. Before going to third step, I just want to revise. We studied metallurgy steps. They call the extraction of metals. Steps. What are the steps? Enrichment, oxidation, extraction, refining, mineral. Any substance we extract from the first is called mineral. Or if ore is a mineral from which metal can be extracted, or we can be. what is enrichment? Removal of impurities. When impurities are called gang. Impurities are called gang. What is oxidation? Converting the ore into oxide. Any ore. Converted to oxide. Why we are converted to oxide? Because removal of oxygen is easy. There are so many methods. We are studying calcination and roasting. Calcination, heating over in limited supply of air and heating over in excess supply of air. This is done for carbonate or this is done for carbonate. One example, one example. What is our aim? To convert the ore into oxide we got. What is our aim? To convert the ore into oxide we got. So second step, all ores we are converting into oxide. That's all over. Second step is over. I hope you are able to understand. If you don't understand, please try to follow. Please pay attention. Very, very important topic. Try to concentrate. If not, you will not understand what is given in the textbook properly. You are missing sir. I am rubbing this student by oxygen. Okay, oxidation is over. What is the main aim of oxidation? To convert the ore into oxide. To convert the ore into oxide. Now, third step, children. What is the third step? All oxides are there with us now. All oxides are there with us. We have to remove oxygen. How? First, let me tell you what are the famous metals we know for ashen. Sodium, calcium, magnesium, aluminium, zinc, iron, lead, hydrogen monoxide, copper, mercury, silver, gold, platinum, bronze. Now, we have converted all of them into oxides. No? Let's write their oxides. Potassium oxide, sodium oxide, calcium oxide, magnesium oxide, Aluminium oxide, zinc oxide, iron oxide, lead oxide, copper oxide, mercury oxide, silver oxide. Now we have oxides. How to remove oxygen? Because removal of oxygen is easy. How to remove oxygen? If you remove oxygen, metal you will get. If you can remove oxygen, you will get the metal. Simple children. Try to understand this. Not a rocket science. Simple logic. Okay. So I am removing oxygen children. And for lower metals, for lower metals, for lower metal will go direct heating procedure. For the middle metals, for the middle metals, we heat them in presence of reducing agent like coke. Coke means not coke cola children, carbon. Coke means carbon. And for upper metals, we will go for electrolysis. For upper metals, we will go for electrolysis. Okay, children. Down metals are least reactive, no children. Just if you heat it, simple. If you heat it, metal will come out clean, you know, simple. Simple over, that's all. Because down metals are very low reactive, no children. If you heat it, they will liberate oxygen gas and the oxygen gas will go away. You will get your very good children. And down metals are very good. They will listen. Whatever you say, they will listen. Middle metals, little bit stubborn. You have to give them some gift. Okay, so what gift we are giving reducing agent like coke? When you give reducing agent like coke, what happens? This will take oxygen and you take aluminium. Okay, we have to give reducing agent like coke. No metals, they will listen nicely. Middle metals, they don't listen. We have to give them some gift. Okay, we have to bribe them. Then only they will listen with carbon. Upper metals are very stubborn, children. They are like us. Nicely, if we say anything, we won't study, no, like the same. Okay, if they don't study what we will do, we will hmm, we will scold, we will eat, we will scare. like the things we have to do for upper metals, very, very stubborn. So upper metals, nicely they won't listen. That's why we will pass current. When you pass current, at that time they will liberate oxygen gas. At that time they will liberate oxygen gas. So what are the three steps we will follow for down metals? Direct heating. For middle metals, reducing agent like coke. Upper metals, electrolysis. Upper metals, electrolysis. Down metals, direct heating. Middle metals, heating presence of reducing energy, upper metals, and process. Listen, these are easy. Once I am explaining the process, try to listen, children. It's once also listen. I am explaining potassium oxide is there. If you pass current, you will get K plus O minus 2. It disarms you into ions. Okay? O minus 2, where it will go? It will go to anode. Where it will go? It will go to anode. Why? Because minus 1, minus will go to plus 1. And after going there, it has two extra electrons. So it will give them two extra electrons. And it forms oxygen gas. Happily escapes into the atmosphere. Oh, wow. Now, 
who will go to cathode who will go to cathode children k plus will go what for it will go in search of one electron it won't one electron two electrons so our oxygen is giving it will take many c one electron and it will form potassium metal that's what we want no we got its potassium oh it's got potassium metal now what your potassium metal okay potassium metal you got oxygen gas is going away into the atmosphere what is the bring interstep to get the metal you got the metal simple okay so potassium oxide when you are heating children when you are passing current it decomposes into potassium ions and oxide ions but oxide ions goes where and gives away to electrons and forms oxygen to cathode who will go k plus it will take on electron and forms potassium metal potassium metal in activity will get oxygen gas is taken to this is it okay can you understand like all this means one more example i will give but after this i want to children but so this is the last example if you didn't understand one more example Suppose aluminium oxide. Sir, we don't need electrolysis for aluminium oxide. No, sir, you may say. Just I'm showing example. That's all. Okay. It decomposes into Al plus two and O minus two. Who? Where O minus two will go? Then where O minus two will go? And and it gives two electrons and forms oxygen gas. And where Al plus three will go? Cathode. Where it will go? Cathode. Al plus three. It will take three electrons and forms Al metal. That's all. You are just you have to balance the reaction. If you balance the reaction, oh. okay, children. Third step is also over, children. What is the aim of third step? To convert all the moles into oxides. Once you get oxides, remove oxygen. How will you remove oxygen? Down metal direct heating, middle metal heating, and present the bridge using a generator. Four upper metal surfaces. Third step is also over. And the last but not least, very very important, refining, electrolytic refining, refining, refining. The last step, children. What is it? In eighth class, also we study children this procedure. In refining, we will refine the metal. This is electrolytic tank. We will take electrolyte. We will put one anode. We will put one cathode. What is anode? Anything which you connect at the positive terminal of the battery is called anode. And what is cathode? Anything which is connected at the negative terminal of the battery is called cathode. Okay, children. Suppose I want to refine copper. I want to refine copper. Copper means plus one, children. Where plus will go always? Where where plus will go always to cathode? Where plus will go to always cathode? So that's why what we do? Cathode at cathode at cathode we will take already existing pure copper. At cathode we will take already existing pure copper and at anode whichever you want to purify we will keep impure copper there. Okay, in the third step we got copper. Now suppose this is copper. This will keep it as anode. Already existing pure copper will be there. Now that will be just And some copper salt you have to take electrolyte like, like copper chloride or copper sulfate or copper nitrate or copper carbonate anything copper salt you take no take silver salt no take zinc salt when you are refining copper take copper salt when you are refining silver take silver salt when you find zinc take zinc salt any salt no problem copper chloride magic after taking copper chloride electrolyte and you pure copper at anode pure copper at cathode pass current when you pass current the copper ions from here. Anode, it will go and settle on pure one because they go to anode cathode only. No children, pure copper ions. Plus no, plus will go to minus one, leaving behind all the impurities at the anode as anode one. Okay, at anode, all the impurities will be left over, and pure copper ions from anode and through electrolyte goes and settles on the cathode. Goes and settles on the cathode. Imagine you are putting ten grams of copper. At the end of the reaction, you get twenty grams because it is coming from here. Also, it is coming from electrolyte. Also, electrolyte also copper salt. Now all the pure electrical copper ions will come in. That is here. Okay. No, sir, we didn't understand. You may see one more example. One more example. You don't worry, children. I will give one more. Okay. In electrolytic refining, in electrolytic refining, suppose I want to refine silver. Okay. Suppose I want to refine silver. Okay, this is what anode. This is what cathode. Impure silver. Impure silver. I will take it and already existing pure silver. I will take it cathode, and I will take some silver salt. Some silver salt. Pass the current. Switch on. Then battery. Pass it. When when you pass the current, pure silver from here goes and settles on cathode. Please mute your audio device. Pure silver from here will go and uh, settle on cathode, and from salt also silver ions. We are taking silver salt, no? Salt also, all the silver ions will come and get deposited on the cathode. 
from here also they are coming from electrolyte also they are coming from cathode also they are coming from electrolyte also they are coming from and so on from anode also they are coming from electrolyte from anode from electrolyte from anode so on the pure silver only again pure silver will be no sir i will take zinc which and again zinc uh, if iron and silver is coming how you will uh, separate this it is big task no so when you are purifying i silver everything you take silver only when you are purifying copper take everything copper only when you are purifying zinc take everything zinc only so here three steps you should remember children that's all in pure metal which you want to purify that is anode we will keep it as pure metal already existing that will keep it and electrolyte should be salt of the metal to be purified only not some other salt if i am preparing and purifying silver i can't take zinc here salt of metal to be purified this three steps if you children this is one of the electrolytic refining there are so many methods are there equation are there distillation is there uh, the fractional distillation are there so many methods are there for refining metals not only this but in your textbook they gave this and every year board exam compulsory question three marks electrolytic refining of copper compulsory question children hundred percent guarantee without this question till now no board exam has happened children. okay so this is a natural metallurgy children so last small description i'll give this children what is metallurgy steps involved in extraction of the metals is called metallurgy what are the steps enrichment oxidation extraction refining what is a metal any substance we extract from it first is called metal What is the word? Metal from which metal can be extracted. What is enrichment? Removal of impurities. Impurities are called gas. What is oxidation? Converting the ores into oxides. Why only oxides? Because removal of oxygen is easy. What are the two steps we still study here? Calcination, roasting. Calcination in absence, roasting in presence. Calcination for carbonates. Roasting is for sulfur. Okay. Extraction. We will remove oxygen. How we will remove oxygen? For down metals, we will go for Direct heating. I told you. For middle metals, we will heat in presence of reducing agent like coal. For upper metals, for upper metals, electrolysis. Now metals are least reactive. Just direct heating. And last one, refining. You got metal now here. Here you got metal oxygen gone away. And how do you refine the metal? What you will keep at anode? Impure metal which you want to purify, you will keep at anode. What you keep at cathode? Already existing pure one you keep at cathode. What is electrolyte? Salt of the metal to be purified. Salt of the metal which you want to purify. If you are purifying copper, take copper salt only. Any copper salt like copper chloride, copper sulfate, copper nitrate, copper carbonate, anything. But when you are purifying copper, take copper only. Don't take any other metal. Okay, so from the anode also everything comes and settles at cathode. From the electrolyte also everything comes and settles at the cathode. And at anode, all the impurities will be left at anode metal. Okay, children, anode metal. Okay, so enrichment is removal of impurities. Oxidation means converting the ore into oxygen. Extraction means we are removing the oxygen and extracting the metal. And in refining that the metal which you got, we are purifying that metal. How? Anode impure, cathode pure. Anode impure, cathode pure. Anode impure because anode metal is forming. Remove, remember like that. At anode, anode metal is forming. Why? Because it is impure. Like that, you try to remember. Very, 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 very important. Electrolytic refining of copper. Compulsory question. Five marks with the diagram. Diagram is there in your textbook.